The flea market can certainly be hit or miss, but when you have a morning like I just had, it definitely keeps you going back for more. Oh, garbage pill kids. It's got the paper on it. Yeah, man. She is, she's, a, she's a hard one to find. Yeah, that's cool. And there's some Migo micro Oh, cool. Yeah. Bloggy Fritz. There's a lot here. I'm gonna grab all these little monsters though, so. If you wanna add them up while I'm going. Okay. Oh, they're on this right here. Yep. Um, I don't know. There's a couple boxes that are about a piece. Look at these. Yeah, all right. Now, see, see oh, yeah? I've seen you at Frank before. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen you on the internet before too. Cool. Yeah. I love that store. Yeah. Or stores, I guess. Hey, what do you buy? Uh, you bought some uh, knockoff He Man. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yep. You still got those? Or yep. Do you, yeah. I love the knockoffs. Oh, yeah. Cool. Love the knockoffs. You got a pile started already, man? It's in my hands. Yeah, Stack it up here somewhere. If you want to get your hands. Back here. Yeah. Here. Okay. Five. Yep. And... What is this? You yeah, make yourself a pot here, man. Let me take okay. them off your hands. Okay. Cool. Yep. Got the... Oh, garbage pill kids. Is that from uh, 89? Cool. Same on the micro machines. Hey, Alright, you wanna add me up? Yeah. Here, I got you. Yep, yep. And There's that too. You ready for a total? I think so. And I'll probably uh, swing back around in a minute. Yeah, some breathing. She said 20 bucks on the finger puppet. Okay. Um there's 125. Let's make it 110. 110, sure man, thank yeah. you. Appreciate that. Yeah, and that's max. Okay. 40, 60, 80, 110. I think that's 110. 110. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. Hey, I know who you are, but what's your name? Um, Anthony. Anthony. Mm -hmm. What's your name? Travis. Travis, nice to meet you, man. You Thank you so much. Today? Probably don't have time. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Got to be back around 10:30 or so, so yeah. we'll see. Good luck, man. Awesome, Thanks man. Thank you. Anthony. Hey, man. How you doing? How are you? Good. Good. Yeah, good to see you. I'm set up at the card show. Okay. Here. Cool. Are you guys open yet? Yeah. Or was it open at 9? I walked by it. It didn't look like it was too populated yet. Yeah, most people are set up. I do mainly sports card shows. So. Yeah. Yo! Oh. <laughs> Man, I meant to say something before you left the table. Yeah. You're a big, you're a big Ooh! Big troll. This stuff in. Okay. And there's some older stuff. I don't know if you want to take a look at it. Sure. Um, Feel free to look through there. Oh, there's my glasses. <laughs> You're gonna need this. Shit. Um. What? Knock, Are those like prototype? Oh. No, they're blue legs. <laughs> that's even cooler. Yeah, they're blue leg. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, Ten bucks a piece on the food fighter. Okay. Um. Back deal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Done uh, on those. I got this guy just a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. and like I'm trying to maximize my profit. Mm -hmm. You know how much it's worth? Uh, vaguely. Yeah, I, I would do like 600 bucks if you're, mm -hmm. if you're interested. Yeah, it's clean, isn't it? Uh, it's got some markings. It's got no weapons. Mm -hmm. It should have purple nunchucks, but 
And I got a bit of box of pinches. Okay. The worst, the better, it's super nice. It's got the paper so, on it. Yeah, man. They're all fantastic. Oh, that's cool. You can set it on top of that. Right on. Too. And I kind of got a price list in there. Okay. There, there's loose weapons in there. Okay. I mean, so there's pretty much a first 12 in there, isn't there? Yeah, there's yeah, they're all Spider-Man. early. It's an early, it's a Star Wars case. Yeah. Um, they're all early figures. I had a couple loose ones I tossed in there mm-hmm. just to fill some space. And I sold the Battlestar Galactica figures that were in there. Oh, really? Yeah, those were the first things to go. Are you wanting to do this all at once or you want to split these up? No, man. Like, I got a price list there if there's something that you're interested in. Uh-huh. But the whole case is going to be like 850. 850? Yeah. But lightsaber tips, lightsaber tips, We've, weapons. I mean, yeah, I mean there's a hundred dollar gun right there. And they're out of a childhood collection. Yeah. Anyway, I wanted to catch you before you left. Oh yeah, for sure. And I don't want to harass you, so no, no, take it back inside and, and um, look it over. I'll definitely buy these right now. Cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna think about that one. I've, yeah. These are so expensive. I don't know. Yeah. If yeah. I'll complete the like, line or not. I saw it and I and I. I picked it the other day, and I uh-huh. always picked the Jumbo Turtles, and then I got home and I was like, Troll Jumbo, what the? Yeah. Wow. It's a lot different. And it totally blew my mind. <laughs> um, I'll grab those now. I'm going to think about cool. that, and I'll come back and see you, man. All right, man. Awesome. I'm Thank sure you so much. You. Yeah, man. How you doing? Huge fan, man. We've been watching all your videos. Uh, awesome. What's your name? Jason. Jason, Jason nice to meet you. Hi. Thank Jeff. you so much. Nice Appreciate that. It's actually my birthday day. Can I get oh. a picture with you? Yeah, yeah, sure. Can we both get a picture with Yeah, absolutely. How's it going, man? <laughs> All right, check it. Make awesome. Sure. Nice, to meet uh-huh. you. nice to meet you guys. Happy birthday, man. Thank you. How much you have on the Beetle Baileys? Two dollars each. Two dollars each. A dollar a piece. My mistake. Okay. My sign came up. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have 18 here. Oh, would you do 15 bucks? I can't. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to take them. Home. This is cool that they're so clean and they're yeah. all the same thing. Well, this lady had a whole box of them. Oh, really? Yeah. Kind of a neat little time capsule. There you go. All Thank right. you so much. Thank you so much. Uh-huh. That's cool. How you doing, pal? Good, man. How are you? Good. How much you have on the masks? Oh, that one there, I'll do eight on. Eight bucks? Eight bucks on okay. it, yeah. Okay. What about that Miss one? Miss Liberty, I got to do 15 on her. Okay. But she's, everything's in there, so is him. Okay. But you know how good she is. She's a, she's a hard one to find. Yeah, that's cool. Do the pair for 20? Bucks. Perfect. Same page. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to do it. <laughs> you want a sack? Sure, man. If you got one, it'd be great. I'm a sucker for these things. i tell you what. She, uh, of course, that's online. Uh-huh. She's heavy. Yeah. Real heavy, I couldn't believe that. I mean, just nuts. Yeah. There's only one online. Uh huh. $200. Oh, wow. Good deal. I mean, maybe, maybe somebody would buy it. I don't know. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. Hey, you were supposed to be watching her. Oh, no. I, you know something? She said she had all your money and she was yeah, going to have. Uh, uh, well, it, I forget where they said there was a maid. It's, it's four. Uh huh. Is that Colonel Sanders? Or is it? I don't know who that is. No. You know what it says it was online? It says old man with glasses. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, kind of. I, I want five bucks. Five bucks. And it's old and it's, it's, I forget what it was. I'll kick myself, so yeah, Fox, I'll get it for five. Five, something <laughs> weird, you know? That's funny. But he's not Taiwan or China. Yeah. He's neat though, isn't he? <laughs> he is cool. Yeah. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. Thanks, bro. Yeah, they just said old man with glasses. <laughs> old man with glasses. Yeah. Good enough. <laughs> Describes it perfectly. I, I, you know, I didn't know who it was. <laughs> I asked me somebody. It's a good shape, though. Glasses. Yeah, yeah. No cuts or anything. I yeah. like it. Thanks, man. It's yeah, it's broken. That's cool. How about 15 bucks? 15, sure. Yeah. Yeah, that old stuff, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sure. sure and there's some Migo micro Oh, cool. Yeah, pretty much got them all priced, but you can make you a deal on all of them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. What do you think on all of them? So, 
three for that box. Got a Biotron and a half. That is three hundred for all the Micronauts. Three hundred for all the Micronauts. Yep. So. yep, all of it. I never see that many. That's cool. I'll do that. So we're at three fifteen. Yeah, three fifteen. Forty, sixty, eighty-three. Fifteen. Yeah, that's good, man. I'm gonna count it. Just yep. One, two, three fifteen. Awesome, man. Thank you Thanks, so much, buddy. Anthony. Good Thanks, to see you. Travis. Travis. I deal out of that Frankie D's. Okay. So, you can see us before Christmas. Awesome, man. man. We'll do. Where do you, where do you live? Are you uh, in Greenfield. So, like, about an hour south of Muncie. Yeah. All right. It's not a bad drive, though. Keep an eye on you. Awesome, man. Thanks, dude. Thank you so much. Good luck to you. And we made it back to the showroom. The flea market can certainly be hit or miss, but when you have a morning like I just had, it definitely keeps you going back for more. This little monthly flea market in Muncie, Indiana is one of my favorites to attend. You obviously have your regulars when it comes to vendors, but I'm constantly seeing new people bring in different things. You literally never know what you're going to find, and I think I found some pretty great stuff. So real quick, let's take a look at everything. We'll start off here with the simpler stuff. Found this big stack of Beetle Bailey comics. It's a complimentary copy from 1970. Nothing special about this book by any means, but I was just really taken with the condition. The fact that these are 53 years old and they just sat in a box for all those decades and they are pretty much near mint. I thought they were kind of cool. 18 copies for 15 bucks. Definitely had to pick these up. Next up, I've said it a million times, I am a sucker for Ben Cooper masks and costumes, especially when they're in the original box like this. This one's really cool. This is one of the Night Owl Bright colored ones. Skeleton Model 891. Pretty sick design and colors on this one. I bet it would look awesome under a black light. And then we have the Miss Liberty costume from the Americana series. This one does seem to be a little harder to find. I did see that $200 asking price he was talking about. I don't think it'll ever go for that, but Definitely had to pick it up for his price. But once in a while, these things will surprise you. I recently picked up this Godzilla Ben Cooper costume for right around 20 or 30 bucks just because I thought it was awesome. Did check the comps on it, and uh, I was kind of surprised by this one. So you just never know. And then we have what I thought was a Colonel Sanders mask. No idea what it really is. Kind of looks like something that would be used in a heist movie or something. Got that shiny kind of almost see-through look to it. Pretty cool though. I think I only paid five bucks for this and uh, I'll just hang it up somewhere. And then we have the Mega Hall. Picked all this up from Travis who has a vendor booth at a place called Frankie D's. Actually a really cool place if you're local and you've never been, definitely check it out. This was technically three different deals, but for the sake of simplicity, let's call it one deal at $435. That's all in, and once you break it down, very, very cool deal. Tons of gnarly smalls. A lot of this stuff will go into the display case. Some will be bagged up for future toy shows. Got a whole bunch of these vintage rubber finger puppets, little aliens and monsters and whatnot. Always love these things. Never find this many in one place. Very cool Diener Vampire Eraser. A Beater Boba Fett that was only marked at five bucks. Can't beat that. Cool little Maiden Hong Kong King Kong. Couldn't see a brand name on this, but definitely vintage. Imperial Spider-Man Finger Puppet. I actually have the whole set of these, so Cool to find one by itself. Mad Balls knockoffs, of course I love these. I have no clue what this one is, but it does look like some sort of uh, knockoff of Screaming Meanie or something. Picked up some Mark's Nutty Mads. Here's Rocco the Champ, along with Manny the Reckless Mariner. Battle Trolls, Thundercats. Anyone remember the Mr. Bones candy? A 1989 Mario Popper. Very cool little vintage wind-up creature from the Black Lagoon. Kind of surprised to actually find the value on this thing, but definitely going in the display case. No idea what this Frankenstein's monster head is from. It's got a little hole on the top. Maybe it was candy or something, no idea. Definitely thought it was cool though. Absolutely love the Food Fighters knockoffs. This right after I find a nice little bunch of Food Fighters. Now I get to add this to the display case along with the white one here. Picked up some random cards like the Jaws 2, Battlestar Galactica, and a nice little stack of early series Star Wars cards with another Luke Skywalker rookie card. Always good to find this card. Obviously the bulk of the deal, monetarily speaking, came from that big old batch of Micronaut stuff. A line that I think is really cool. I love that you can take parts from different play sets and pieces and just kind of make up your own toys with them. Not a line I personally collect, but just thought I'd take a chance on it and kind of see what happened. Some pretty good pieces in here. We do have most of a Hydrocopter. We have a complete Biotron. Got some 
figures and accessory parts and pieces. Have a nice little glider here with his wings. Andromeda the horse, he was missing a couple wheels to uh, transform into his vehicular form, but he is there complete as a horse. He does have his tail, which tends to get lost a lot. He does have his firing rockets. I don't want to shoot one right now because it'll go flying, but you just press this button, these rockets go shooting out of it. The piece that I think is the coolest would be this little Antron figure here. With all of his accessories, he has the light green brain that you can see back there. The Hornetroid ended up being completely complete with his wings. Everything works, all the accessories. So that was cool that I was able to assemble that entire thing. We do have some more parts and pieces that look like they would go to another Biotron, as well as what appears to be a complete battle cruiser, but with with all these parts and pieces, did not feel like putting this together yet. So I think if you took the Micronauts lot piece by piece, part by part, you'd probably be looking at a retail somewhere between four and 500. So you could definitely consider 300 paying up a bit. But the best deal in the entire transaction would definitely be these three comics here. These are Valiant Nintendo System comics. Pretty hard to find, very sought after. And we got some key issues here, most notably Zelda number one followed by Zelda number two, and of course, Super Mario Brothers number one. These three comics in a high grade can be valued at hundreds of dollars a piece. It's worth noting that The Legend of Zelda number one here is actually the no price cover variant, which is pretty special in and of itself, but there's no way that I would consider these high grade. You can see some edge wear definitely on Zelda. Zelda number two is probably in the best shape of the three. It could definitely use a cleaning and a pressing. Mario number one has some cover wear, but they're all nice and displayable, and they're so sought after that finding them in any condition is pretty special, and I'm glad to have brought them home with me. That is all I got for you this time. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video, but until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, love ya, bye.